This interview is for information only and should not be considered as investment advice or a recommendation to buy shares in the company featured. Welcome to this stock box interview. Joining us today is Nick Tullock, the CEO of Voyager Life, following the completion of the acquisition of Amphora Health. Well, thank you for joining us again, Nick. How are you? I'm very well, thanks, Mark, and yeah, a pleasure to be here. Well, thank you for your time. Of course, we did speak about Amphora Health before and the announcement of the intention, intention to do the acquisition. And of course, this morning, Zaranis confirming that's all gone through and the deal there spelled out and how it will all work. So, I mean, what are the plans really with this brand then? What does it add to the product line and what are the plans for Voyager to, because um, I know it was an established brand, but perhaps struggling in the UK. Hopefully you can uh, change that. Yeah, we, we, hope, we hope so. I mean, it's the brand has been going for, for some years now. It was set up by some Canadian investors, uh, but very much UK focused. It adds, I think, two really interesting things to our portfolio. Um, it adds vapes, which are in and out of the news all, all, all the time. Um, and I'm happy to say the M4 vapes are not disposable, so they, they will be compliant, we believe, with, with ongoing legislation. Um, it also adds 23 products that are on the novel foods list. This is the, the, so the English FSA's novel foods list. So as, as we continue to expand our business and particularly look for English wholesalers and English retailers to stockers, actually having that product base on the on the novel foods list is important. Mm. Um, so I, I think it's, it's given us a good base from which to work with. Um, there's there's going to be a few adjustments we'll look to make, and we certainly will take the manufacturing in house. So maybe that that's what we do. Um, they've gone through different uh, styles of branding on different products. We'll probably unify that to to actually really try and sort of emphasise the Amphora brand. But we've got a great platform and they've got, I think, some, some 20,000 followers on social media, you know, a great website. Um, and the acquisition, although we're paid £50,000 in shares, you know, I think we'll be getting you know, getting that back in inventory. There, there, there's quite a lot of inventory to work through as well. So, you know, although I say we'll, re, we'll rebrand, step one is actually to sell through what we've already got. Okay, indeed. And you want to start doing that manufacturing. How quickly will you begin bringing that in-house and getting the manufacturing going? I would have thought it'd be measured in a in a, in a short number of months. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I you know, we're not sort of you know, running the machines today to start producing oils. As I say, we'll 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 work through the inventory we've got. But yeah, you know, I, I would say in the next two, three, four months, products will start and four products will start to be made by us. Okay. Um, we'll probably slightly adjust the branding just to make it you know, make it clear it's a Voyager product. Um, okay. Yeah. I like the Invora brand. I think I think it's very smart, but we'll just make sure it's unified across the across their range. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I would guess two two to four months in terms of the the initial runs, and uh, uh, and then thereafter repeat manufacturing beyond that. Okay. And do you have any ambitions or thoughts on the the revenue that you might you know, increase from adding this uh, the M4 products to the the uh, the line here? I know from the um, the RNS that this morning the deal was done through four hundred and sixteen thousand six hundred and sixty six shares in Voyager, and the same again should uh, you reach a hundred thousand in revenue over twenty four months. So is it fair to say that would be the target? I think that's that's the clue. I mean, Amphora itself has done a, a revenue figure far in excess of that in its history. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I I think as we sort of look look ourselves forward in in terms of what we can achieve, yeah, you know, I suppose as a seller you don't enter into a deferred consideration package with a target unless you really believe that target can be met. Yeah, and and, and the same is true as a buyer. Um, so I, I think that's a that's a good line in the sand to be targeting. But clearly, we would hope for an awful lot more than that. Um, the vape market itself, I mean, there's statistics all over the country in terms of, of how that's growing, you know, despite some of the legislation that's looking to curtail it. Uh, CBD oils remain you know, one of the biggest sellers in, in, in the sector, still, even though Voyager is very much um, orientated around topical products, you know, CBD oils are a huge part of our business. So, and, and Fora contributes to two categories, vapes and oils, that will be very important to us, mm -hmm. I think very important to the CBD market. Um, and I think, you know, nice brand, very interesting formulations as well, but you're very sort of turfing led formulations you're aimed at different um, you know, different purposes. So I think that there's, there's every reason to believe this could be a, you know, a very significant part of the business. And I think you know, okay. we'll, we'll start to get a feel for it over the next couple of, couple of months as well. Okay, good. Well, you just mentioned earlier 
about trying to get the product, of course, into the existing retailers and, and, and uh, um, yeah, retailers you have relationships with. So what is it that Voyager can bring, do you think, um, to improve the fortunes of, of this brand? Well, Amphora has been largely run from Canada since, since it was set up. So now it has a base in the UK. It'll, it'll be organised and manufactured out of our Scottish mm-hmm. facility. Um, I think one of the, the the big opportunities continues to be wholesale. Um, we, we've had some big wins in the last few months, predominantly on the pet side, actually, uh, in, in terms of getting our pet products into other stores. But we're demonstrating to big retailers we have the capability to manufacture in bulk, deliver okay. on time. And some of these delivery slots are absolutely tiny. We get, it's not unusual we get a 15-minute slot to, to deliver. So actually being able to, to prove not only the product's good, but also the logistics are in hand. Yeah, it, it's quite a big test with retailers. So I would hope that operating our fora from the UK, you know, from a, a, a mainland UK facility, gives us more scope with retailers to demonstrate, you know, yeah, we can deliver in bulk, we can get it to you on time. Um, yeah, and I say it, it, it's a nice product. It, it's a little bit different. You know, a lot of uh, vapes, especially, you know, are, are led with flavours. You know, the Amphora, I can now say our vapes, you know, our Amphora vapes are, are, are led with a, a terpene combination. Same as the seed oils, you know, slightly different to others in the market. Uh, and we like that at Voyager. We like not necessarily being part of the crowd, but maybe just doing things slightly differently that you know, perhaps will appeal to, you know, call it the more discerning customer, call it a customer who's got an idea of what they want and you know, doesn't just want the product to taste of lemon or strawberries or, or, or whatever it may be. Okay, excellent. And on the wider business, Nick, how are things looking? I mean, do you want to do further acquisitions? Do you want to ramp up production? What's going on in a, on a more global uh, picture? Um, wider side, very, very happy with where things are going. Uh, we were at the White Label Expo uh, last week. Uh, we were there for two days, absolutely inundated from the, so the minute the starting whistle went off to the, uh, the time it closed on each day. You know, we were exhausted. Um, I mean, no joke, we didn't have time for lunch, didn't have time for toilet breaks. You know, we were just surrounded by, by, by prospective customers. Uh, today we're at Crufts, so you know, to, to, totally different, but I, I mentioned the pet range has been absolutely terrific for us. So we've got a team um, uh, presenting and selling at Crufts. That's a four-day event, so I suspect they'll be absolutely exhausted. Uh, we, we sent the van down fully stocked, and yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, in terms of other initiatives, we're still having regular reorders through from pets at home. Yeah, that, that, that relationship is building. And it's an important relationship for us. It's it's by far and away the biggest retailer we work with. And you know, going back to what I said earlier about just proving to big retailers that we can do it, you know, we can send good quality products and send them on time. You know, that that's a huge part of the uh, the relationship with retailers. So so we're, we're working very closely with them. Uh, we're picking up a number of, of new manufacturing contracts, uh, a number of other uh, retail opportunities. Yeah, tough market out there, but. Yeah, I think the the quality of product, the yeah, the, the quality of customer service is is just so important in in any consumer business. That's not a CBD comment. That's that's just if you're selling a a fast moving consumer good, it's it, it's the customer service is absolutely paramount. Yeah, and and I I think we're winning in that regard. So still a long way to go, but I'm really pleased with how things are going. Okay, well, thank you very much for your time today, Nick Tullock, the CEO of Voyager Life. Thank you, Mark. If you enjoyed this interview, then give us a thumbs up, a like or a retweet. Subscribe to us on YouTube or follow us on Twitter and hit that notification bell to be the first to know when we release new content. There's loads of great content on our website too, across all our programs at stockboxmedia.com. Thank you for watching.